Welcome back. Sports have the power to unify people of any age, gender, or ability, and that is the idea behind the unified sports programs that many schools are implementing. It's a trend growing in popularity in schools across the country, and one school here in Metro Detroit is being recognized for their program by the Special Olympics. Our Luke Laster is at Royal Oak High School with more on their journey of success. <laughs> The crowd roaring for Grant Hatterman as he gets pumped up for his unified basketball game. Taking my three pointers, shooting like, shooting like, shooting like Jane Ivy. Getting those warm up shots like his favorite player. Say hello to Jane Ivy. Unified Sports combines special needs students and partners, which are students who help those special needs students for interscholastic athletics. For basketball, three special needs students and two partners hit the floor to hoop it up. He puts a smile on my face every day. 11th grader Sam Klonke is one of those partners by Hatterman's side. Klonke says Hatterman's energy is unmatched, and when he's on the floor, he's there to compete. We don't come out with the W. You know, he's, he's sad, but he's ready to go next at practice the next day, coming back ready to go get the next win. It's basketball in its purest form, um, but it's just, it gives those three kids, those special needs kids, an opportunity to compete for their schools. Brian Gordon, athletic director at Royal Oak High School, says it's students like Hatterman who make the Unified League worth it. In his first year as a Unified student athlete, Hatterman is looking to make the tournament and most importantly, bring home some hardware with his friends at his side. And while Grant chases trophies, Royal Oak High School adds a trophy of their own in the form of a banner straight from the Special Olympics. One. Royal Oak High School introduces their banner as a unified champion school, officially recognizing the merging of students with and without intellectual disabilities on the court or field. Hatterman says it's the friends along the way he's made that made his experience worthwhile. He's added that one day he hopes to make it onto the floor with his favorite team. Kristen's your favorite team? Yeah. Nice, me too. Reporting in Royal Oak, Luke Laster, CBS News, Detroit. Yeah, you hope mm -hmm. to see more programs like that. I mean, it's not only great for the differently abled students, but the other athletes as well. I think it's great for everybody. And I want to see Grant just keep knocking down those yeah. shots. But you know what Sink I love up. the most about this? It's about inclusion. It's about diversity. And teamwork does make the dream work. Absolutely.